Hey yo, Andy here, and I've been super busy, as you guys may or may not know from looking at the past few videos. Uh, I've been updating all the OBS plugins. That's why I've been really quiet on the YouTube channel, because I've been so busy just kind of behind the scenes sorting loads of stuff out. These are all free plugins, so please, if you want to consider supporting, please do. Uh, you get loads of cool perks if you join monthly memberships now, like the OBS themes and stuff. It's really good. Uh, but the one that I've updated is the Stream Up Chapter Mark Manager, and that's because it needed to be updated to OBS. 32, but I added a bunch of features that you guys asked. Um, so we've got um, different exports for XMLs. I haven't got access to all the different pieces of software, so I need you guys to test it and feedback if possible. Uh, if there's any issues at all, like with DaVinci, Premiere Pro, and all that jazz, please let me know. Uh, I've added a full chapter history. We've got different... Um, we were having issues with timestamps not being correct. They were out. A little bit so I've kind of stopped that drift from happening and we've obviously in, uh, improved the UI and also added locales you know just use typical admin kind of, kind of type stuff um, so let's have a look inside of OBS what's changed uh, we can go to chapter market manager just here and everything's a little bit more um, to match the theme that you have as well. So you probably see that this looks a lot cleaner now. Uh, obviously, if you're not using the stream up OBS theme, it'll look a lot different anyway. Uh, but as you can see, um, it, it won't look out of place in whatever theme you use, if that makes sense. Uh, we also have the annotation doc, which hasn't really changed. We've only just changed the theme to it to make it like kind of fit with themes now because I've, I've learned how themes work in OBS because I'm an idiot. Uh, and we go to configure and we got a bunch of different settings in here as well now. So we've got this uh, full chapter history just here. So somebody did request that um, somebody's invited me to go and play. I'm, 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 I'm doing a video, bro. I don't want to play Minecraft. Um, so, so there's um, a bunch of different exports, the full chapter history. So the full chapter history is um, something that somebody asked for because I had the previous chapter box here that you could click on all the previous chapters to kind of reuse that chapter marker. But somebody wanted to put the full history. So now if we press record, you can see it says start. We had another chapter, it's chapter two, which I'm in test. And it puts them all in order with the timestamps there. So you can actually see the timestamps live as well, which uh, I thought was an, a, a nice little addition. Uh, we've also got create a text file. Final Cut Pro XML, Premiere Pro XML, you've got an EDL for DaVinci Resolve, um, and obviously all the other stuff's in there as well. And we obviously have just improved performance a little bit. Uh, all your annotations should work. They worked when I was testing them, but if you've got any issues at all, please let me know. And if you need any help installing the plugin itself, it will have already been said in this video just here. I don't want to kind of go over all that. But it's a really cool plugin, and I hope you guys like it. Uh, leave a review, all that jazz. And if you want to consider supporting so you can get your hands on this beautiful OBS theme that I've uh, put together and then used. This is Silver Link's colors. It's beautiful, though, isn't it? Uh, please let me know if you do like it, all right? Make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss any of these cool things that I keep doing behind the scenes. And follow me on the socials, all right? Put your rock over the stone. See you soon.